Lord. Please bless my child. Please stay far. You can watch him from a distance. Let the children come to me, and do not prevent them. The kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen. I say to you, whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. He is the richest man in this town. Good teacher, what must I do? to inherit eternal life. Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not kill. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. All of these I have observed from my youth. There is still one thing left for you. And what is that? Sell all you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Have mercy on him, because he says he obeys the commandments from his youth. No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.
how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Then who can be saved? Yes, who can be saved? For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. We have given up our possessions and followed you. Amen. I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not get back an overabundant return in this present age and eternal life in the age to come. I feel sad about that rich man. Don't worry, sir. Believe what Jesus said. What is impossible for human beings is possible for God. But how? The rich man got a chance to meet Jesus, and Jesus personally spoke to him. His words are life and spirit. It will now work in his heart. Can it change his heart? Don't you remember Isaiah's prophecy? For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. There is still one thing. Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and everything written by the prophets about the Son of Man will be fulfilled. He will be handed over to the Gentiles, and he will be mocked, and insulted, and spat upon. And after they have scourged him, they will kill him. But on the third day, he will rise. I got a new enlightenment. What is it? Hmm, but I am not sure. We must discuss this with Nicodemus. But still... Please explain. I'm sure that it will be something great and divine. Yes, it is so great. What is impossible for man is his own salvation. Only by obeying the commandment is it possible to be saved. Then how can anybody be saved? It is only possible through God with his grace. Grace? What is that? And how? Jesus of Nazareth is passing by! Salvation is only possible by God's mercy and grace. Grace is man's participating in God's life. As written in Isaiah, if he gives his life as an offering for sin, he shall see his descendants in a long life and the will of the Lord shall be accomplished through him. 
Because of his affliction, he shall see the light and fullness of days. Through his suffering, my servant shall justify many. I believe in what Jesus said. I believe this prophecy of Isaiah will soon be fulfilled in Jesus. They will kill him, but he will rise again. He is the Messiah. What is impossible by man is possible by God. We must soon go to Master Nicodemus and inform him of this. Let us go. I heard all you were speaking. Who are you? I am the Samaritan woman. I was a sinful and illiterate one, but one day at the well side, Jesus came to me. He revealed himself to me. Yes, he is the Messiah. I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to be childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. My Lord, my God. Sell all that you have and distribute it to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. What's going on? What's the matter? Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Oh, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Oh, Jesus, son of David. Don't shout, be quiet. Oh, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. Son of David, have pity on me. Call him. Take courage. Get up. He is calling you. What do you want me to do for you? Lord, please, let me see. Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Go your way, have sight. Your faith has saved you. Jesus! Oh God, you are our Savior. Oh Jesus, you brought sight to my world. Your faith has saved you. I came into this world for judgment, so that those who do not see might see, and those who do see become blind. Stop! <laughs> Take me to Jesus. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, 
but will have the light of life. 